Coming up on Sports Weekly, we'll talk about the CIF Southern Section Winter Playoffs. We've got a couple teams that have reached the quarterfinal round in soccer and basketball, including the San Gorgonio Boys Soccer Team, the number one seed in Division Six. They have reached the quarterfinals. Plus, in basketball, the San Gorgonio Boys and Girls and the Aquinas Boys and Girls have all reached the quarterfinal round. We've got highlights of the San G Girls and Boys, plus the Aquinas Girls as we talk about their path to reach the CIF Southern Section quarterfinal round. Plus, we just had National Signing Day and another one of our local football stars will be taking his talents to the University of Redlands. We're talking about Aquinas quarterback, Dre Robles. We have an exclusive interview with Dre coming up as well. Plus, a whole lot more on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. And it starts right now. And what is up, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez. Before we get to the highlights and the interviews, make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Now, we're going to start with basketball in this segment. And in the teaser, you might have heard me mention that we've got four local teams that have reached the quarterfinals. And we've got two schools involved. We've got the San G boys and girls and the Aquinas boys and girls. So four teams that have reached the quarterfinal round in local hoops. Now let's start with the San Gorgonio girls basketball team as uh, they have made a run. And it's great to see the San G Spartans having a real bounce back season. They were taking on Harupa Valley in the first round. Number 20, Jalen Russell had a big game for San G. The Basket and the foul there against Supa, Dupa, Harupa Valley. And then Russell down low off the inbounds pass. She gets that bucket to go. Uh, J- Jakai Edmond coming up with the basket here for San G. They would go on to win by 20. 57-37 to 37, the final score in that one. So a big win for San G. And now they turn their attention to the quarterfinal round to try to keep this championship run going. Yeah, I mean, I'm so, so proud of this team. I mean, everybody knows, like, the last year we had a rough season. We came back off the pandemic. We were 3-16. and 16. They worked really hard, but we had come back in October. We didn't get to play the um, – they came back in May, and we didn't get to play. And so it was kind of like we were starting new. I only had one girl who ever played for us before. And so um, we had a rough year, but I told them, I was like, we got to stick with it. We come spring, we go summer, we go fall, and then good things are going to happen. And so I've been proud of them since we played that um, Redlands tournament, and we really show hard in that Redlands tournament. There was a game we almost lost to A.B. Miller by one, and, and I knew from then that this team had a lot of fight in them, and so every every game, like, it's a learning process. Like, uh, my girls are a lot, new to basketball, got a, long, a lot of young people, only two um, seniors who are, like, you know, um, playing a lot of minutes, and so everybody else is really young, but I've been super proud of them the whole year. I brag about them to everybody, and the, I mean, league championship, first time since 1975. Um, they said we've won more games this year than in the last 10 years, so I'm Super proud of him. Yeah. All right, let's go straight to the Aquinas girls basketball team. They opened up the playoffs at home against Patriots. So we saw San G beat a team from the River Valley League in Harupa Valley. Now Aquinas trying to do the same thing against Patriot picked the uh, Aquinas up 36 25 at halftime. We picked things up in the third quarter. Madeline Barker, the three for the Falcons. They were up by 14. Then Arabella Carrera, the three. 45 26. Falcons in control at that point. Then Barker coming up with the short jumper near the baseline there from short range. And it is all good there. All right, later, a lot more from Aquinas as they would really extend this lead in the third quarter. Ali Hernandez, the pass to Barker for the short turnaround there for Aquinas. And they were hot from the outside as well. This time, it's going to be Alexis Landagora for three. Check it out. Spots up in the corner, lets it fly, and hits the big three. That's Landagora. Patriot would get a basket here in transition as they were trying to stay within striking range of the Falcons. They get the basket, but watch Aquinas. In transition, they waste little time to push the ball up the floor. And it's going to end up with Barker 
and a basket. Nice passing here by the Falcons. Later, the Falcons up by 23 at this point. They win 79-42, the final score. So big win for Aquinas girls. And again, they have reached the quarterfinal round. And now it's on to boys basketball. San Gorgonio in Division 5A. They have reached the quarterfinals after a couple blowout wins to start the playoffs. You're looking at some highlights when they were at home against Cornerstone Christian from Wildemar. Final score in this one, 101 to 44 the final. Yeah, San G ran out to a big lead and they would never look back. And then San G followed that up with another blowout win going on the road to another team in Wildemar. Cal Lutheran. The final on that one was 70 to 39. So now Sanji is in the quarterfinals. So best of luck to the Spartans. And uh, as they try to close in on a CIF Southern Section Championship game. Well, the Aquinas boys basketball team, they're trying to do the same thing. The Falcons going on the road to beat Downey in the second round. So now Aquinas has reached the quarterfinals and they will be back home this week on Valentine's Day night. As we record this edition of Sports Weekly, yes, the Aquinas Falcons in the quarters against Rancho Christian. And this game feels like a championship game. Two of the top teams in all of the Inland Empire, in all of the Southern Section, going head-to-head. -head. Rancho Christian from Temecula has some great history with boys basketball, and we know what Aquinas has done. They've got a great program. Coach David Johnson has done a fantastic job the last couple of years nobody's been better than the Falcons so that's gonna be a great quarterfinal matchup in 2A Aquinas and Rancho Christian best of luck to Aquinas and San Gorgonio as they chase CIF Southern Section Championships all right, when we come back on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG, we will turn our attention to soccer. Sanji Boys, the number one seed in Division Six, still in the hunt for a title. We'll be right back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.